New at six, prosecutors accuse a man of shooting his 10-month-old Labrador in the head. And investigators say he told them he did it because he was sick of all the animals in his house. CBS 4's Travel Island joins us from Homestead with a story that's hard to believe, Travel. Yeah, that's right. According to police, they came to this home last night after someone called to report a fight and also shots being fired. Well, according to this arrest report, the man took his 10 month old Labrador puppy back into his backyard back there and then shot the dog in the head. Scott Frederick Hargraves got some advice from the judge on Monday morning. You know, if you don't like an animal, you can always turn it into the animal shelter. The 50-year-old homestead man was arrested overnight, accused of shooting his 10-month-old Labrador puppy in the head. Wow, that's unusual. Scott knew that. Wow. Neighbors were shocked to hear about the allegations. Everything was fine. I never seen him do anything to the dogs. We got a few cats lying around, but that's about it. According to the arrest report, when officers came to his home, Hargraves was in the process of leaving. He allegedly had the dead dog in the back of his pickup truck. He told officers he shot the dog because he had a long week and was tired of all the animals in his home. That's a little gruesome. Rick Palacios has lived next door to Hargraves for almost six years. He says he would have never expected Hargraves to hurt an animal, let alone shoot a dog in the head. We went to the suspect's home to get a comment. No one answered the door. Sir, you are arrested for aggravated animal cruelty. Do you have any money to hire an attorney? I really don't. Do you own your I know. I did. It's in foreclosure. The judge gave Hargraves a $5,000 bond and placed him on house arrest. I'm concerned about the safety. If he'll go and shoot an innocent puppy. I'm not, I'm not putting him on pretrial release. Let him post a bond and maybe with house arrest and he can work. One neighbor who did not want to speak on camera believes if Hargraves is guilty of animal cruelty, he may have done it because of the stress from his financial problems. Rick Palacio says Hargraves has been a good neighbor. I've, I've been here five, six years. He's an awesome neighbor. I've never had any problems. Well, we just checked a short time ago, and Hargrave still has not posted bond. And this is also not his first time having legal troubles. Back in 2010, he was arrested for domestic violence. He was ordered to go through a court program, and then that battery case was dismissed. For now, we're live in Homestead, Travel Island, CBS 4 News. Travel, thank you. Today